uh, as an example, Chicago. Illinois is very bad. But Chicago, take a look at the numbers. It's, they had 260 people shot on 4th of July weekend. New York, through the roof. No more cash bail, no more anything. All they do is go after Republicans. Uh, take a look at Los Angeles, what, what's going on in Los Angeles with the crime. And Oakland and Baltimore. What you have to do is you have to give the police back their authority. Now, some people say, oh, that's a terrible thing. What's terrible is in Chicago, you have 200. Think of it. 260 people were shot last. 260 people. In Afghanistan, you don't have 260 people shot. In fact, by the way, in the last year in Afghanistan, we didn't lose one soldier. And I started the move out. And I don't like what's happening the way Biden's doing we'll it either. And we'll, I'd love to talk to you about it because it's not good. But. Uh, we didn't have a person shot. We didn't have one soldier killed in Afghanistan for over a year. And you have 260 with many dying in Chicago. And New York is through the roof. The crimes, the shooting, what's going on in New York. New York is totally out of control. You have to give the police back their authority. So, Mr. President, I want to dig deeper into You know, the police can stop this. They, they can't They that. can't stop this. The police this, but... are afraid they're going to lose everything if they go after somebody. They're going to lose because some bad acts were done. And because of those bad acts, they've destroyed these police forces. And it's been happening for years, even before defund the police. That's true. That's only That's made true. it worse. Yeah. So, Mr. President, you, you allude to what I talk about them being liberal cities. But I also follow up by saying, where are the Republicans taking those seats back? Why isn't there any Republicans in these local communities? They're begging for help. Is there an opportunity so there? So they've been Democrat for 100 years. You look at New York, you look at Chicago, you look at some of these cities. They've been Democrat run mm -hmm. and badly run for 100 years. I mean, it's the way it is. The Republicans fight. In Baltimore, we had a great young representative who was fantastic, African-American woman. She didn't make it, and didn't quite make it, but she's fantastic. It's almost like a habit. You put a Democrat in, and but I'll President, tell you what, you, we did. You, we you did. won some Democrat states, Democrat yeah, cities. I did. Because you went in there and did the work. Correct. So what did you, what were you able to do that they're not able to do? Well, we did very well, as you know, with the Hispanic and with the African-American vote. Records. We did records with, uh, with these votes. Uh, I was able to convince them that what they've been doing in the past was wrong. I got criminal justice reform approved. You know, that was a big thing, Lawrence. Nobody thought they could do it. Obama couldn't get it done. I'm not even sure he tried that hard, frankly, but he couldn't get it done. Nobody could get it done. We got criminal justice reform done. That broke the ice to a certain extent, and we were able to get tremendous votes. Also, the minority, every minority group, they want law and order. They want police. They don't want to be accosted. They don't want to be shot. And that's what's happening, and we can't let it happen Can I ask any you a question? Let me, get your, let me get your comments on culture, because there's a lot going okay. on within the Good. culture, and you were yeah. a culture warrior. You didn't mind taking it on. Yeah. A lot of things happen in the schools. We saw it uh, in the colleges. Right. Uh, we saw it on the university campuses, even some of those private schools. And now it's making it from the high schools to the elementary schools. What is the conservative response to this anti-American sentiment, not teaching all of history, what do you say to Well, that? it's the exact opposite. It's called 1776. It's the exact opposite. We love our flag. We love our country. We salute our country. We love our country, and we honor our flag, yeah. and we honor our heroes. We honor George Washington. I mean, they're taking George Washington's name off of schools in San Francisco and different parts of the country. What is going on? It's crazy. Abraham Lincoln, they want to take his name off three schools on the West Coast. And I say, what are, what are these people thinking? It's almost become, in my opinion, a sickness. Yeah. There's something wrong. You think it's out of control. Let's talk about the economy. Uh, it is fair to say the stock market is, is booming right now. Right. The economy is booming. But what I see, and when I talk to businesses on the street, they say that they're competing with government, that there's paychecks being right. out there, and they cannot keep up. They can't continue they can't to work. increase their wages. So what is your message to the small businesses that are out there? Because they feel forgotten right now. So the stock market is doing well, but that's also habit a little bit. Mm -hmm. That can change very quickly because inflation is going to become terrible. Mm -hmm. When I left, it was a dollar eighty-seven a gar gallon for gasoline. Now it's three fifty, and it's going to go much, much higher. We were energy independent. Within another month or so, at this rate, we will not be energy independent. We're going to need Russia, Saudi Arabia, the Middle East. We're going to need all of this. Uh, lumber prices are through the roof. All the prices, meat prices, food prices. If you have inflation, we saw it during Jimmy Carter's reign, 
Jimmy Carter had inflation. Prime rate went to 22 percent. The economy crashed. They're going to have to be very careful. The economy is very fragile. You're going to have tremendous inflation. And if you have inflation, only bad things can